Welcome back to EPM Org Evangelist Pilgrim Missions. Today we are going to continue our multi-week Bible study titled Exploring God's Word, which will take us from the beginning of the Old Testament clear to the end of the New Testament. EPM Org also offers a weekly one-on-one -on -one Exploring God's Word Bible study as we also offer the same in a group setting, which can be scheduled by contacting me through this very page. Lesson number 20 Introduction to the New Testament So we made it all the way through the Old Testament and now today in Lesson 20 we're going to start the New Testament At the time of Jesus Christ there were three national groups in the world Each of them had their own solution to world problems the Romans believed in the political solution that would bring a stable government and roads for travel and trade. The Greeks believed in a cultural solution. Alexander Great, the Great led the development of the Greek culture and a common language. The Jews believed in a spiritual solution. They knew the one true living God, and through their people came the Messiah. The key concept for Lesson 20 today is the Gospels, Acts, Epistles, and Prophecies, in that order. Jesus, like the Old Testament, had, just like the Old Testament had 39 books, the New Testament is going to have 27 books. Those 27 books had one author and eight writers. It took a hundred years for those eight writers to write the New Testament. The New Testament is divided into four different categories. The Gospels, Acts, Epistles, and Prophecies. The Gospels are basically the biography of Jesus Christ. Then there is the Book of Acts, which consists of the birth and the early history of the New Testament church. The Book of Acts is followed by 21 books called the Epistles. The Epistles are letters written to the New Testament church to teach them how to live in Christ so that you learn about Christ in the Gospels. You get into Christ in the book of Acts. You learn how to live in Christ in the Epistles. You can see the ultimate outcome of living in or out of Christ in the prophecies of the book of Revelations. The first four books in the New Testament are called the Gospels, and they are the biographies of the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason there are four different writers is that God wants us to see four perspectives of Jesus. The book of Matthew portrays Jesus as the King of the Jews. The key word is Gospel of Matthew is fulfilled. To the Jews, Matthew says Jesus fulfills every Old Testament prophecy, and He is your King. Throughout the Old Testament, God always wanted Israel to become a theocracy, a God-ruled people. God wanted to be their King. The book of Mark portrays Jesus as being similar to an ox or a load-bearing servant. Mark's Gospel is a Comp compilation of Peter's preaching notes and was written to the Romans. It shows Jesus to be a man of action. The key word is straight, straight away or right on. So Jesus is depicted as a servant king. In the book of Luke was written to the Greeks and portrays Jesus as a sinless and perfect man. 
Luke was a Gentile physically physician and was very interested in the hum humanity of Jesus Christ. John wrote his gospel to show that Jesus was fulfill fully God. In Jesus Christ, God became what he had never been before, yet did not cease to be what he had always been. Matthew and Luke start out with the birth of Jesus Christ, but John starts out by saying in the beginning, as a man, Jesus had a birthday, but as God, he was infinite. Jesus had a dual nature. He was not full man, and he was not full God. He was fully man and fully God. You can think of the Gospels as four blind men taking a trip to the zoo and each trying to de describe an elephant. One man had a hold of his tail and said the elephant is like a rope. One man had a hold of his ear and said the elephant is like sheet metal, kind of bendable and floppy. Another man had a hold of his trunk and said the elephant is like a stovepipe. And the fourth man touched the elephant's side and said the elephant is like a brick wall. If you put all of the elephants together, you get a complete picture of the elephant. So Jesus was both a king who came to serve and the almighty God who became a man. Today's key concept review in book chapter or verse 20, the first lesson, when lesson 20, the first lesson about the New Testament, the key concept is the Gospels, Acts, the Epistles, the prophecies in that order. Until next time, God bless.